Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories and secrets of the ancient gods. I'm your host, and today we are going to talk about the three most prominent Mesopotamian deities, Enki, Enlil, and Anu. These gods were worshipped by the Sumerians, Babylonians, Assyrians, and other civilizations that flourished in the region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, known as Mesopotamia. They had a profound impact on human creation, destiny, and cosmic order, as well as on mythology, religion, and culture. Their stories reveal a lot about the beliefs and values of the ancient Mesopotamians, and also about how they influenced and inspired us even today. So, without further ado, let's dive into the mysterious world of the Mesopotamian gods. The first god we are going to meet is Enki, the wise creator god. Enki was the god of wisdom, freshwater, and creation. He was associated with the Abzu, the primordial ocean of fresh water that lies beneath the earth. He was also the patron of crafts, arts, science, and magic. He was depicted as a bearded man wearing a horned cap and a long robe, holding a vase of water and a rod with two snakes entwined around it. The rod symbolized his power over life and death, and the snakes represented his knowledge of the secrets of nature. Enki was the one who breathed life into clay figurines, creating the first humans. He did this with the help of his half-sister Ninhursag, the goddess of the earth and fertility. Enki was also the father of many other gods and goddesses, such as Marduk, the patron god of Babylon, and Inanna, the goddess of love and war. Enki was the ultimate problem solver among the gods. He often intervened in the affairs of the other gods, humans, and even monsters, using his cunning and creativity to find solutions. For example, he saved humanity from the great flood that Enlil, his half-brother and rival, sent to wipe them out. He also rescued Inanna from the underworld, where she was trapped by her sister Ereshkigal, the goddess of death. He also defeated Kerr, the dragon of the deep, who threatened to devour the world. Enki was a benevolent and generous god, who cared for his creations and taught them various skills and arts. He was also a playful and curious god, who sometimes got into trouble because of his experiments and adventures. He was not afraid to challenge the authority of the other gods, especially Enlil, who was the mighty lord of command. Enlil was the god of air, wind, and storms. He was the ruler of the sky and the earth, and the enforcer of divine laws and order. He was depicted as a bearded man wearing a horned cap and a long robe, holding a scepter and a ring. The scepter symbolized his power and authority, and the ring represented his control over the fate of the world. Enlil was the one who maintained the balance of the universe, by separating the heavens from the earth, and by assigning roles and domains to the other gods. He was also the one who decided the destiny of humans, by giving them laws, kings, and civilizations. He was the father of many other gods and goddesses, such as Ninurta, the god of war and agriculture, and Nana, the god of the moon. Enlil was a stern and strict god, who demanded obedience and respect from his subjects. He was often angry and violent, unleashing storms and disasters to punish the disobedient and the wicked. He was also jealous and proud, guarding his supremacy and prerogatives from the other gods, especially Enki, who was the wise creator god. Enlil was a powerful and influential god, who shaped the history and culture of Mesopotamia. He was the patron god of Nippur, the religious center of the region, and the source of legitimacy for many kings and dynasties. He was also the inspiration for many myths and legends, such as the epic of Gilgamesh, the hero king who sought immortality. The third god we are going to meet is Anu, the supreme deity. Anu was the god of the heavens and the ruler of all the other gods. He was the father of Enki and Enlil, and the grandfather of many other gods and goddesses. He was depicted as a bearded man wearing a horned cap and a long robe, sitting on a throne in the highest heaven. He was also sometimes represented by a star or a bull, symbolizing his majesty and strength. Anu was the one who decided matters of cosmic significance, such as the creation of the universe, the division of the world, and the succession of the gods. He was also the one who bestowed divine power and authority to the other gods, by giving them their names and attributes. He was the ultimate source of divine power, and the one who could grant or revoke it. Anu was a distant and aloof god, who rarely intervened in the affairs of the other gods, humans, or the world. He preferred to stay in his heavenly abode, surrounded by his attendants and worshippers. He was also a fair and impartial god, who judged the cases and disputes that were brought before him. He was not easily swayed by emotions or favoritism, and he always upheld justice and order. Anu was a revered and respected god, 
who was worshipped by all the other gods and humans. He was the head of the divine family, and the origin of the divine hierarchy. He was also the source of the divine kingship, and the protector of the sacred city of Uruk, where his temple stood. As you can see, Enki, Enlil, and Anu were the three most important Mesopotamian gods, who had different roles and characteristics, but they were not the only ones. There were many other gods and goddesses in the Mesopotamian pantheon, who were related to each other in various ways. Let's take a look at how the Sumerian pantheon was unveiled. The Sumerians were the first civilization to emerge in Mesopotamia, around the 4th millennium BCE. They developed a complex and sophisticated culture, based on writing, agriculture, and urbanization. They also developed a rich and diverse mythology, based on their observation and interpretation of nature and the cosmos. The Sumerians believed that the world was created by a primordial pair of gods, called Anshar and Kishar, who represented the horizon of the sky and the earth. They gave birth to Anu, the god of the heavens, and Ki, the goddess of the earth. Anu and Ki then gave birth to Enlil, the god of the air, and Ninhursag, the goddess of the earth and fertility. Enlil and Ninhursag then gave birth to many other gods and goddesses, such as Ninurta, Nana, Utu, and Inanna. Enki, the god of wisdom and fresh water, was also a son of Anu, but by a different mother, Namu, the goddess of the primordial sea. Enki was the master of the Abzu, the underground ocean of fresh water, where he built his temple and palace, called Eridu. Enki was also the father of many other gods and goddesses, such as Marduk, Nurgle, Ninjishida, and Nanshi. Enki and Enlil were half-brothers, but they often clashed over matters of human destiny and divine authority. Enki was more friendly and compassionate towards humans, while Enlil was more harsh and demanding. Enki also challenged Enlil's supremacy by creating humans, saving them from the flood, and giving them the me, the divine decrees that govern civilization. Anu, the supreme deity, was the father of both Enki and Enlil, and the grandfather of many other gods and goddesses. He was the ultimate source of divine power and authority, and the one who could grant or revoke it. He was also the one who decided matters of cosmic significance, such as the creation of the universe, the division of the world, and the succession of the gods. Now that we have learned about the main gods and goddesses of the Mesopotamian pantheon, let's see what legacy they left behind. How did they influence and inspire the people who worshipped them, and the people who came after them? One of the most lasting legacies of the Mesopotamian gods is their wisdom. Enki, the wise creator god, serves as a timeless symbol of intellectual pursuit and problem solving. He was the one who taught humans various skills and arts, such as writing, mathematics, astronomy, medicine, and magic. He was also the one who revealed the secrets of nature and the cosmos, such as the cycles of the sun, the moon, and the stars, the seasons, and the elements. He was the patron of scribes, scholars, and magicians who sought to emulate his knowledge and creativity. The stories of the Mesopotamian gods also continue to inspire religious and mythological narratives. Many of the themes and motifs of their myths can be found in other cultures and traditions, such as the biblical stories of creation, the Flood, the Tower of Babel, and the Garden of Eden. Some of the names and attributes of their gods can also be traced to other deities, such as the Greek Zeus, the Roman Jupiter, the Egyptian Ra, and the Hindu Vayuna. Another legacy of the Mesopotamian gods is their archaeological evidence. The ancient Mesopotamians built magnificent temples, ziggurats, and palaces to honor and worship their gods. They also created statues, reliefs, and seals to depict and represent their gods. They also wrote thousands of clay tablets, containing hymns, prayers, rituals, and myths about their gods. These artifacts provide valuable insights into the beliefs and practices of the ancient Mesopotamians, and their relationship with their gods. We have reached the end of this video, where we explored the roles and characteristics of the three prominent Mesopotamian deities, Enki, Enlil, and Anu. We also discussed their influence on human creation, destiny, and cosmic order, as well as their legacy on mythology, religion, and culture. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about the mysterious world of the Mesopotamian gods. Before we go, we would like to answer some frequently asked questions about these deities. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and we will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.